Tomahawk Talk time now alongside Jordan Palacio and Sam Wiederhaft. I'm Tyler Mannion, and the Braves lose 6-2 to tonight. Jordan, we see Mack Lardner struggle for the first time all season long. He's been stellar up until this point. But did he need to get this out of his system before playoffs? <laughs> That's one way to look at it for sure, yeah. You know, he probably couldn't be perfect like how he has been the entire season. So, you know, it was a tough game. The Braves going up against Chatham tonight, the best team in the league. And he gives up four runs in the top of the first inning. A couple errors thrown in there. However, he goes out and he strikes out two sides in a row in an inning. He throws in an immaculate inning. So after that four-run first inning, he really came in and he really settled down. And it was really crazy to see because the story, I don't think, is the four runs he gave up. I'm going to remember the immaculate inning that he threw because I've never seen that in person before. Seeing things we've never seen in a loss. There are right. positives and losses. And Sam, one positive for me that's not here is you're not wearing the shorts that I want you to be wearing, the crazy shorts. I feel like you're not doing everything you can to help this team no, win. Player. Do you have something to say for yourself? Well, you know, those shorts are 2-0, and and I just wasn't feeling it tonight. It's a little cold. Those shorts are a little short. Um, so I just kind of I went with the white ones, and I thought that that we would we would be victorious. And hey, we're all in matching shirts. Maybe that's some sort of good luck. I don't know, but yeah, you know the shorts didn't come in lucky tonight. That's all right. Um, it was it was a tough Braves Braves loss, but hey, I found with tomorrow. I might I might bring them out. I might bring them. Out. I would love to see that because th frankly, I'm very disappointed in you right now, <laughs> Jordan. Speaking of Falmouth tomorrow. The Braves clinch playoffs tonight. Finally, we might have gotten that one wrong last night. Statistics were crazy, double tiebreakers and craziness that. like that. But tonight, they clinch. Hyannis loses, so they're in the playoffs. Tomorrow, doubleheader, Falmouth. What's that game going to be like? It's going to be tough. Two, you're going up against the hottest team in the league right now, Falmouth, en route to winning their ninth game in a row. If that result holds how it was earlier tonight, they're playing against Orleans right now, so they're finishing up right now as we're shooting this. But most likely winners of nine straight, hottest team in the league, and it's going to be tough. You have Franco Alleman, who's got an ELRA at under .5 for, for Falmouth, and he, he we might see him tomorrow. Falmouth really looking to clinch that first position. It's not going to be in reach come tomorrow. However, every single win will help them get that first spot. So this is a team that the Braves could see a lot. They have three games in a row, two tomorrow and one on Sunday, and this could be a matchup we see in the first round of the playoffs. So like we just talked about, doubleheader tomorrow in Falmouth. We'll see you then.